Good morning, everyone. Today is, my hair is still wet, if you're wondering. Today is the day where we are trying to find water because we're about two hours away from the ocean. And so that means that we're gonna be, we're basically gonna be getting hit for sure by this hurricane. The name of this hurricane is Hurricane Florence. My camera's probably not gonna stay here, but I really need to leave. I really need to go. I'm gonna go get some Starbucks. I'll see you guys in a second. But now that we are all set for this road trip and this journey to find water. Oh my God, that is so good. Literally, all I got was a hazelnut. Hazel, is it really dark in here? Hazelnut classic syrup, classic syrup with cream. It's really good. It's just regular coffee. I got Liam a ham and cheese croissant, which I thought would be really good for him. It looks really good though. I'm, I don't eat their breakfast a lot, but look how big it is. So now we are gonna go ahead and head to Walmart where we are from. We got about an hour drive there and then we're gonna go to that Walmart. Last night we went to a Walmart and literally all the bread, all the canned foods, all the milk, which I don't know why, and the water bottles, water, everything was gone. So I'm hoping and at the Walmart at our place or the food line, anywhere really. I mean, you can even go to Big Lots and they'll have water. So I've literally just tried to put my seatbelt on and it's already on. So let's go ahead and try to figure out where we're gonna get water at. <laughs> Decided. What buggy? We're letting mud up pee pee real quick. What's wrong? So what I wanted to tell you guys is that I've just decided. I just decided that I was going to make a huge change. I think I am going to get rid of this. All this blonde. I don't know. It's such a hard decision. Like. I am just so over this like brassy freaking yellow color and I'm just over it. I mean obviously I love my blonde because I have I was a blonde when I was little and everything but I mean it's just so damaged and if I just dye it brown I feel like it'll be healthier, give it a good trim and I can take care of it better. So I'm going to go to Sally's and see what I can find get this little booger out get his leg stretching still have to go find water so i don't know if i'm gonna make this a whole nother video of me dyeing my hair how i dye my hair at home or if i'm just gonna put it in this vlog i don't know yet so wish me luck hopefully this is a good decision i'm pretty sure i already made my mind up just because like really i'm just gonna dye it this brown color that's on my head now probably a little darker just because it's so blonde that in like a hold on buggy hold on in like a week or two it's probably already going to be faded at the bottom like the blonde is probably going to start showing through again okay i'm going to go put moto inside and then we're going to go okay okay so let's go get moto i just got home by the way okay 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 calm down thank you so I'm really nervous now. I'm so, so nervous because I talked to Daniel about it and he was like, you know, I've always loved your hair brown. <sighs> Inside. Dang it, I just crushed my camera. Go get in the kennel and then as soon as we get back, you can come out. Okay. <laughs> All right, Leo, we're going. We're gonna go find some water and we're gonna go get mommy's hair dye. <laughs> so we just got back home and I haven't unloaded the car yet. Like that's how soon we just got back home. So what basically what I was saying was, <laughs> I cannot wait until this yellow is gone. I feel like it's gonna look so good. But anyways, Bye, we, we could not find any freaking water. The only water I found. <laughs> I love you. Bye, what are you telling them? Can you say pray for us? 
Say so pray for us. Bubba. Look at little Liam's Bubba. toy land over there. So cute. <laughs> I can't wait until I finally do like a full house tour for y'all. I just, I want to get that done yeah. first. Like everything over there is all messed up and all so. But anyways, I'm gonna go get the groceries out of the car and show you guys what I got for this hurricane. Things that are gonna get us through this week if our power goes out and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get into this grocery haul. So here is my little grocery for this hurricane. <laughs> um, well these are for tonight. I'm gonna make some ham and cheese croissants for dinner. But I did get a bunch of canned stuff like oranges, Vienna sausages. Daniel loves these so I figured this would be good for breakfast or something if the power goes out. And then I also got these granola bars which Liam loves and I think they're pretty good as well. This was seriously the only water I could find y'all. What the heck. Good thing I like that. I know Daniel doesn't. He'll just literally go open his mouth up outside if it's raining, if he really wants water. He'll probably just get beer. I asked him what we should get and he was like, just get some beer and steaks. We'll be good. <laughs> I did get some paper towels. I didn't get toilet paper because we only used like one or two different brands and they were completely out. Completely. Um, I got some apples and bananas. All the bananas were out except for a few of the organic ones. I was like, what the heck? Um, then I got this cranberry juice for Liam or whoever wants it. And then I figured, I already have some paper plates. I just figured like if the water, if the power goes out, the water goes out. So we're not going to be able to wash dishes. So I figured that'd be good. I got some bread which got super smushed in the car. So there's that. <laughs> and then I got some salsa and chips, which I figured would be really good to have. Some shrimp, because we could cook that on the grill. I also got this chicken. I could make like a chicken something. I don't know, chicken sandwich, anything really. Get some like mayonnaise, mustard. I don't know, we'll probably end up getting a cooler with some ice or something the day before. And these are for dinner tonight. And then I got these pack of crackers. It's like a different variety pack, which I thought would be good to snack on. Um, I guess I didn't really get too much. We are going to go pick up some steaks and stuff like that we, that we can cook on the grill. I guess this is more like just the snacky foods that we'll have. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. I got a candle. This one is the apple pumpkin scent. And I just seriously wish you could smell it. Like, can you smell that? So, I'm going to put these groceries away. Buggy, you want to go play? You want to go play? Let's go play in the playroom. But first coffee yeah I'm about to go oh my god <laughs> yeah this is definitely a cup of coffee y'all what probably have that on camera that there wasn't even a k-cup in there let's see or did a k-cup jit me let's see oh my y'all you are supposed to tell me if I didn't put a k-cup in there Okay, well at least we cleaned it out, wifey. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. First, <laughs> dang it, now it's gotta freaking heat up again. Okay, coffee. But only me. That's more like it. From what I heard at Walmart, they're not gonna be stocking up anything until Thursday. There was this little sign while I was in there and it was like, sorry, we're out of water. Oh wait, we gotta put the wifey side on. Y'all, you do you realize I'm gonna be getting married soon? Oh, there we go. So that is my ring. And we are getting married in, let's see, what month is it? September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Eight months. Eight months to plan out a wedding. If any of y'all have any tips, please comment below. <laughs> I am not a wedding planner, that's for sure. Oh. oh. Bow. Bow. Yeah. Bow. Whoa, he stood up. Boing. <laughs> Bow. 
while we're sitting here, um, we're going to work on this this weekend. I'm so excited. And then we're placing all of the bottom molding with a white molding just before we paint the walls. Um, the walls look kind of purpley right now, but they are, it's just the primer. And then that over there is going to get stained with the white trim down here. And then this is going to be a white, like a really, really light gray pretty much. And then we're going to have that white trim up there. And then we're going to hang the TV. Oh, it's going to look so good. Since we're doing a vlog, let me show you my couch. <laughs> Um, I'm obsessed with it, y'all. It is so comfy. Like, that right there, that's my spot. That is my spot. Can you show them how you do a willy? Can you show them? Whoa. He's like, I'm just going to drag them all out. You want to play with that? Can I see you? Can I see Mommy used to play with that when she was little. Yeah. If my grandmother's watching this, she's gonna just like know. She's gonna know. Hey, look, share. So you open it. Liam's gonna pour them all out. Good job. And then you put the little pants on. Oh, there's a head. Oh, look, see, there is a clown. Where's the clown's head? Oh, I guess he's just a monkey. Can you do that? No, we're not brushing my hair. We're not brushing my hair. Why are you so cute with your little diaper on? You are not funny. I know I said I was gonna upload pretty much every day this month. I've already missed two days. I figured I'd vlog for a little while, especially with this hurricane. What's her name again? Florence. I keep wanting to call her Francis, <laughs> but let's hope she doesn't take us out and we hopefully will be good. I'm watching CNN. Y'all, this is really scary. I mean, like, I really haven't been looking much into this hurricane, but honestly, it seems really scary. I'm gonna try to get this video uploaded today so I can, this word spread, like, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Even though you're not literally directly on the water, you still could get hit with high winds. And that's what they are trying to explain on here. And then this one guy said the last hurricane, I can't remember what he said it was called, that was a category four in North Carolina. He was out of power for 10 days. He wasn't even on the coast, like two or three hours away from the coast. For 10 days, he was out of power. For two weeks, he was out of school. So, I mean, that's so scary. And that this isn't anything to joke about. I shouldn't be laughing about it at all. It's definitely serious. Like, look at that thing. Let me see if I can get it. They're taking the lifeguard stands down. This is in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is not far away from here. Oh my God. Another thing, my friend, she just posted, uh, people really need to think about like how much water they take because there are um, moms who feed their babies formula. They will need that water to feed their babies. So think about that as well. I'm sorry, I can't stop watching this. This is scary. Florence is a much larger hurricane than Harvey and our beach house is there and it's just scary to think like we might not have a beach house. I think I'm going to probably go ahead and end the vlog. You want to tell them bye? Can you say bye bye? Get that thing out of your mouth. <laughs> yes. Bye, lovelies.